Some days back, I read about some of the heuristic optimization methods and the names were so interesting like genetic algorithm, ant colony, particles of optimization that I decided to search what is going on behind all these algorithms and what is the fundamental concept behind all. So here I present you my understanding, hope it helps. In this video, I will use MATLAB coding to provide a visual of how heuristic optimization method works and converts to an optimum solution. Let's start with a simple 2D quadratic function x square minus 9x plus 20. The solutions are 4 and 5. We take the differentiation of the function with respect to x and it gives us the solution 4.5. Using conventional methods or differentiations for finding optimal point fails or have certain limitations when the problem becomes multidimensional and nonlinear. The reason behind this is non convexity, which is a separate topic in itself. Anyway, so due to these limitations, we use heuristic methods which gives us an approximate solution which is not exactly equal to the conventional solutions but still it is useful when the problem is non-convex. Let us understand how heuristic optimization works with a simple explanation. Step 1. We pick any random point in the reason where we want to find the optimal solution. Step 2. We find the direction of the steepest descent. Based on the randomly selected point, the direction will be different. This direction is calculated using the slope at that randomly selected point. Depending upon the randomly selected point, now we start to move towards the downhill based on these formulas. We use to update the values of x in each iteration. Using the randomly selected position and the direction we can start moving towards the uh, downhill but still we do not know that how to decide at which point we will stop the iterations. This is decided by the incremental change in y with a step change of x. As you can see that with the same change of x the change in y is decreasing. Well, in other words, we can say that the rate of change of y is decreasing or the slope is decreasing and here it will be zero. So we can, to implement it in MATLAB or uh, in iterations, we can use this formula where we find the difference of y at first iteration and then we subtract the value of y at next iteration and when this when this difference decreases and it uh, goes near to zero then we can set a threshold that the algorithm must run up to only a point where the incremental difference is greater than a certain value well we how we can code this let us see so let us start coding uh, for this algorithm initially let us uh, initially let us plot the quadratic function. This was our original quadratic function which was uh, x square minus 9x plus 20 and uh, it has solution at 4 and 5. Now let us, our step 1 was to pick any random point. Here I'm not skipping the coding part, I want to keep this uh, so that someone who is new to coding can understand it properly. Now I will plot the randomly selected point. Here you can see a randomly selected point is visible. Now let us run it one more time. Here, this is the second randomly selected point. Here it is third. 
both so like this okay now uh, before uh, before telling you how you can proceed into the steepest descent direction let me first tell you how you can move on this plot at all this can be done by for loop uh, let me first keep it simple for visualization purpose let's move from 1 to 5 let's change this x i x i x i and now let's update this x i Here you can see that there are five points as we are running this loop for five times anyway we are not going to keep the change in x this big because the smaller the value we will have the better results we will get so you can see the five rings here if we will make 50 and it will go to 50 so uh, now uh, still it is not uh, going into the direction of steepest descent so how we can do that for that i have already uh, created a matlab function which is 2r minus 9 this is basically 2x minus 9 the this is the derivation of the original function we have this is the function and its derivation or differentiation is 2x minus 9 so when we will call this function in our main function it will give us the value of differentiation at the randomly selected point uh, we can call this using this command let's call this using this variable defy our function name is defy1 here so now we want to give x1 as the input okay so now instead of point 0.1 i'll give then x here and I will define del x is 2.01 and uh, okay so now we will say that if diff y is greater than 0 then uh, okay let me just run this As you can see on this plot that wait let me just do it one more time yes if your randomly selected point will be here the slope is negative if it is here your slope is positive so if your slope is negative then you want to increase the values of x you want to increase the values of x and you will put these values into this y x to get near to the optimal solution and if you your initial point selected will be here then you will decrease the del x from your original x to get to this point so we will give this simple condition here in if else loop if your differentiation of y is greater than zero means positive slope positive slope then we will subtract else if if y is less than 0 then we will repeat the same process but with slight difference we now will increment this x so okay let's run it and see if it's working Here, if our point was selected uh, from uh, in the left hand side of the minimum point it is moving into the right hand side which is great this is what we want and if our random point is selected in the right side of the minimum then it is moving towards left side this is what we want okay excellent so uh, till this point it is fine now our final step was how to decide where to stop because as you can see that this is not stopping at the minimum point 
it is moving into the right direction but it's not stopping at minimum point so for that as you remember uh, what we have done we have calculated incremental difference so how that can be done now instead of four loops we will use while loops uh, and we will give a threshold value that till the increment is less than or greater than this value we will run the while loop let's define let's give it any random value which we will know that it will be greater uh, than threshold always okay so what we are doing here is basically we are subtracting the value of function at initial point from the next point so we are getting an incremental difference here Similarly, we will put this here also. Uh, here, this command you have to write after the updation of x. So, this was causing a problem. So, I written the complete code and uh, the for loop was just for illustration purpose the real algorithm will depend on while so here I've changed the index of uh, all the variables okay now let's run this and uh, let's see the endpoint of x uh, here as you can see that this is uh, proceeding in the right direction and stopping near minimum and the point is 4.43 and as you know that our original uh, minimum value is 4.5 so it is very near to 4.5 anyway you will not get the exact solution in heuristic algorithms but you will get the nearby solution so as you can see uh, the more means So as you can see, it doesn't matter how many times you run, you will get a good solution. 4.47 is good solution. So it is stopping. Okay, so let me run it one more time in the full screen view. Here you can see it is stopping at perfectly minimum points. Now let me reduce the step size so that you will get a more better solution as you can see we have reduced the step size as well as the threshold values so we are getting very small del x values and for that we are getting very small uh, changes in y but as you can see that our algorithm is slow now Okay, so this was it for the video. Thank you guys.